Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am not going to film a long introduction like I typically do for these videos. I'm going to just jump right into the topic of the video. So I made an announcement, I'd say probably about two and a half, three months ago, that I was switching to a plant-based diet slash kind of vegan diet. Um, and since then, I have gotten a lot of questions about it. I haven't really spoken too much in depth about it, so I figured I would use this video to do that. Now, here's where this video, like, I'm actually feeling anxious. Like, this is where this video, like, I've been putting it off because I'm used to criticism online. I'm, I'm just used to it. You put yourself out in any way. You have an opinion on anything, you're going to get criticism, and that is okay. But the vegan community and even the opposing community is like, it's something they take so personal to their life. Like they identify as a vegan or non-vegan and people really lash out about that if you are not the right kind of vegan or the right kind of meat eater. So I am not claiming that I am a vegan because I'm not. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit more, but it's definitely a lifestyle that I want to move into. A little bit of a backstory. I was really sick as a child. I have a lot of stomach issues that have kind of resolved themselves a bit as I've gotten older, but I still deal with a lot of them. So I grew up eating a pretty clean diet as it is. I don't, I never really ate I wasn't really into like candy or sweets or anything like that. I pretty much only ate fruit because it was the thing that I knew wasn't going to make me sick, wasn't going to make me have episodes, I wasn't going to be cramping and in pain. So I always ate fruit. As I got a little bit older, into my childhood, into my young adulthood, I fell in love with vegetables. I love corn. I love, I mean, I know corn is kind of classified as two different things, but um, love corn. I love peas. I'll eat green beans. Um, I like Brussels sprouts, broccoli. I like any kind of vegetable. So my diet as an adult, choosing my own foods as an adult, it doesn't really stray too far from a plant-based diet anyways. However, where this kind of, you know, I don't know, what happened was I got married. <laughs> um, I got married straight out of high school and, you know, moved cross country and I had to start taking care of a man. I, he worked all day, I stayed home, so I did the whole, you know, stay at home wife thing and I was the primary cook in the household. He cooked for a while, but then it you kind of became my responsibility. People can really take this the wrong way. <laughs> That was a responsibility that I took on, and I married a man that is very much, um, he, well, he is Spanish, he is Latin, so he loves his rice, his beans, his cabbage, his yuca, um, and his tortillas, platanos, and meat. And this has been a struggle for our family just because it does not matter what I try to cook, if I try to experiment in the kitchen and cook different things, he's not satisfied unless he has meat. Um, he tries everything I cook, he, he's really supportive about it, he'll tell me it was really good, but it was missing meat. So then we had children, and as I'm sure most of you know, children eat way differently than adults. They are more picky and you kind of have to adjust your meals to get food in them. Now, not only was I cooking things that my husband enjoyed eating, I was also adjusting those meals for children. So it just got to where I didn't really want to prepare meals the way I liked them because I was already spending so much time preparing meals for the rest of the household. Three months ago, I decided, you know what, like why am I eating in a way I don't enjoy eating just because of the inconvenience? Because I do not and have never liked to eat meat. I don't enjoy it. I never have. Let me just kind of like discuss where I'm at currently. Um, I have completely given up meat, like traditional meat. I don't eat any kind of pork, beef, chicken. I haven't touched a single bite of meat since I um, made the announcement that I was going to kind of be switching to a more plant-based diet. 
I do eat a lot of like things that a typical vegan would eat, things that maybe you don't always find in a pantry. Um, you know, different kind of like nuts and beans and what, I don't know how you pronounce it, legumes, legumes. I, I don't know how they're pronounced. Um, so things like that, you know, lots of quinoa, lots of oatmeal, which I already ate to begin with, um, lentils, uh, chia seeds, black seeds, all kinds of nuts, cooking soups with cashews. So that is like the biggest change is that I've gone from like making a soup that is typically filled with butters and milks and things to thicken it and to make it tasty. And I've switched that out for, you know, almond milks and um, cashews to make a soup creamy. So small changes like that and then completely taking out the meat. Also, okay, cheese. I don't eat cheese. Um, I don't like grab for it. I don't snack on it. I don't go to a restaurant and order something that has cheese on top or that's smothered in cheese. I always ask them to get rid of the cheese. Please don't put it on the plate. So that is a change I made as well. But here's where and why I won't identify as a vegan and where I'm sure people will tell me I'm doing it wrong and I should give it up and I know I should and I know I want to but I'm just not there yet. Um, and that is like sushi. I love sushi. I did not eat it my whole life because I swore I would never eat sushi. It freaked me out like raw fish. I hated it. Um, so about a, two years ago I had my first order of sushi and it like opened up a new world to me. So I do eat sushi about once a month, um, if that. So I do eat fish occasionally. I don't eat it at home for dinner. It's just on you know the occasion that I eat um, fish or sushi. Uh, I have had pizza since switching to a plant-based diet, which means I have had cheese. But again, that's something that I don't really want to do. And I've cut it out. Like we had pizza this past week and I didn't eat it. So it's I'm taking small steps to get where I to get to where I want to be um, and doing it my way. I'm not feeling pressured by a community or certain people. I just don't feel that. I don't feel that need to make my life choices based on how others feel about the matter. As for like political, environmental issues, I don't want to like sit here in front of you and be an advocate for that because I can't, I guess I don't know enough about it um, to speak on it, but of course I don't enjoy killing animals. I live in a very small town where people, I mean, they, if they're not working the job that makes them a living, they are out hunting and fishing. And people out here, if they kill it, they eat it. It's not like they torture animals. Um, it's clean eats. And I'm used to that. I'm surrounded by that. But just because I am surrounded by it doesn't mean I enjoy it. As for food that comes from animals, I know a lot of people feel differently, but I just don't feel that people are really meant to eat animals, which, like I said, I know people feel strongly about that, but my mindset is kind of like, I think about milk all the time. I, milk disgusts me, I will not drink it, I hate it, I can't stand it, I cannot stomach it. Um, but I look at cow's milk and I think this is milk coming from a large animal that is meant to nourish another large animal. This is the, you know, the food that is growing a baby calf to a huge cow. And I think if if that's nutrition for an animal of that size, are we really meant to put that in our body? I don't know, it's just kind of how I've always felt. Like pork, I feel like pigs are like literally the nastiest animal in the world. They will eat anything and everything that you put in front of them. So I have a hard time thinking that we consume meat from an animal that will just eat anything. I, that's hard for me to, it's hard for me to process that. Also as maybe hippy dippy as it sounds to some people, I just, I believe in energy and the energy that surrounds things and the reason I believe in that is because I watched a show about the different styles of fighting and how like taking a hit to the chest, how the energy is transferred from you know your whole body to this one spot to hurt an enemy. And I think about animals and when they're being slaughtered and when they're being treated poorly. 
they have this negative energy. They, they feel horrible, they're not happy. Their whole body is negative. And you think about a human stressing and being unhappy, it is literally toxic to your body. That forms toxins in your gut that can cause all sorts of diseases and can cause your body to just be terribly unhealthy. And we are digesting food from an animal that has that energy, that has that toxicity in their body. So that's another reason I'm just not really into it. Um, I also have zero trust for this country and the way they produce food. Just really stop and think about it. Think about going to the grocery store, how much meat you see at that grocery store. And that is just one grocery store in a city of maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen grocery stores. How are we supposed to positively produce that much meat for people if it's not being done in ways that, you know, just aren't, I mean, what do you say? It's just overfeeding, feeding the wrong things, being pumped full of steroids. There is no way that that meat is healthy for our body. Yes, maybe a long time ago when, you know, people were catching wild animals and and surviving off of that, that might have been healthy, but traditional meat eating from the grocery store, there is absolutely no way that can be good for our body. I, I just refuse to believe it. Um, in terms of animal cruelty, like I said, it's not really a killing animals that, that bothers me, although it does, but I kind of, I'm realistic, so I know that that's just a part of life. Animals die, people kill them for food. But in the way that they are killed, the way they are tortured, the way they are mass produced to give us food, I just don't, I don't believe in that, I don't agree with that, and I don't for a second feel like I want to support that um, business. Like I said, people are very passionate about it, so that's kind of why I've put off making this video and I've kind of just gone off on a tangent, like thinking about things that have been going through my head, thinking about things that um, people have asked me or mentioned. So that's, I mean, that's really it. Am I vegan? No, obviously I eat fish, um, I eat sushi, that's the only fish I eat, um, and I've had cheese, but it is a lifestyle that I'm going towards. It is a lifestyle I implement probably 98% of the time, 99% of the time, and then there is that 1% or 2% where I have eaten the sushi or eaten the cheese on pizza, and it happens, but that's where I'm at currently. I would love some encouragement from you know those of you that have made the switch. Maybe tell me things that made the switch easier for you, or foods that maybe you had a hard time cutting out, but you just cut it out some way, or cold turkey. I would love to hear from you guys. I also want to hear what you guys think about meat. I mean, I know there's two different sides of the argument. Do you think that as humans we are meant to consume and digest meat or do you think that we are not meant to consume and digest meat? I'm interested. I'm always interested in open conversation and learning more. Um, and I hope that answers your questions. And if you have any further questions, please leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.